Hey guys, welcome back to my garage layout. Um, another review I've got for you is the Bachman 8-40CW. It comes from Bachman Spectrum line, and if you haven't heard the saying before, what you, uh, you get what you pay for. Uh, this is a very important case in this matter, and I'll tell you why. This engine MSRPs, I believe, for $159.95, and I picked it up from my local hobby shop at $70 even, uh, because the hobby shop has a direct deal with Bachman. But like I said, you get what you pay for, so let's take a look. Like I said, uh, you know before, if you watch my videos, that I am a Union Pacific fan. This engine uh, is numbered 9374, and it has pretty good detail if you look around. We've got sturdy handrails. Uh, not bad detail for Bachman product uh, and the price there. And it's, it's overall pretty good, but let's go ahead and turn this on and let you take a look at the light in the front and show you where the problem is. So if you're picking this up on video, I'll turn the light off so you can see it better. You've got this light in the front of the engine which is kind of a bluish tint. Uh, I believe what's to be an LED in there. But it shines through the little window uh, that the engineer, from the door that the engineer would go in and out of uh, or anybody operating this engine. So the light kind of shines through there, but it's okay uh, for a Bachman engine, kind of a bluish tint. Now let's uh, go ahead and turn this on and show you where the real problem lies for the price of this engine. I'm currently at 10 speed steps on my DCC controller, which for your information is an MRC Prodigy Advanced Squared controller, and the engine's humming but not moving up to 20 speed steps now no, I'm barely crawling on the movement I'm now increasing through 40 speed steps and we just now get the locomotive moving alright now what I'm going to go ahead and do for you guys is max it out to 126 speed steps on my controller now what's the problem you might see here this is not going to what would be considered 126 speed steps in most engines. We're probably at an MTH level or an Atherin level of 30 or 40 speed steps on this and I'm cranked out at 126. So that, can, that uh, decoder in there I hear is what is the problem. And so some people I've talked to have elected to take this decoder out and replace it with their own. So Bachman, uh, like I said, has installed the DCC decoder uh, themselves and it comes equipped and, and don't get me wrong that's a really good price you're talking seventy dollars um, is what I got it for so uh, if you get it for that that's still probably a good buy but uh, a little disappointed with its performance but what can you ask for like I said you get what you pay for so anyway overall if you can get it for seventy dollars I say go for it but if, you, if you're paying towards MSRP I say probably not so we will have to uh, just keep an eye on uh, Bachman Spectrum products. Bachman has a name for not being the best detail. Spectrum is their line, kind of like Atherin's uh, line, nicer line is Genesis. Spectrum's are Bachman's nicer, more detailed lines. And the details are pretty good for this engine, but the overall performance is kind of lagging. So my suggestion would be, once again, if you can get it for a great price, go right ahead. If, or if you're just a collector and want this version of an engine, go for it. But if you're looking to operate or pull anything, probably not the best engine to go for. Maybe you should look for something else. Thanks for watching my reviews, and we'll see you next time. Uh, more reviews to come. And keep an eye out for my step-by-step -step series on how to build, assemble, and uh, scenery. Uh, make Scenic a modular layout because I will be converting to a modular layout here shortly so that I can uh, have several options and we'll go over that step by step. Thanks for watching. See you next time.